All right, it is race time this weekend. The 20th annual Grand Prix in St. Pete moving through the streets. Yeah, Frank's getting ready to get behind the wheel. Let's get it, right? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Today, drivers are qualifying for this weekend's races. All right, I want to show you this map right here. Again, I will not be behind the wheel. <laughs> All right, so this map, you'll see drivers racing nearly 100 laps throughout the track. But unlike NASCAR, there's some differences there. All right, and all eyes are on the skies as the weekend approaches, especially racers and fans taking part in this year's Grand Prix of St. Pete. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser is live there tonight with what race organizers are telling folks to expect. Hey, Eric. Hey, Emerald. Yeah, I want to see Frank behind one wheel of one of these cars. Um, you know, if there's anybody more so than our own meteorologists who are watching the weather very closely right now, it's got to be the folks who are out here at the St. Pete Grand Prix. And I'm not just talking about the racers and their crews, but also the promoters, the vendors, the fans who all agree the timing of this weather could mean everything. It's not going to happen this weekend. We're good to go. Race promoter Kevin Savory has every confidence the green flag will wave here in St. Petersburg this weekend. A line of rough weather moving through our region, he says, won't slow them down. It's going to just uh, force the track off, make for a better show on Sunday. Unlike NASCAR, IndyCars race rain or shine. Only the threat of lightning would have them pumping the brakes. Absolutely. They've got uh, Firestone makes great rain tires. They're the best in the industry. and. Uh, Actually, the show would be incredible on wet. Fans are watching the forecast, too. Today it was the heat, but rain is what they're keeping their eye on this weekend. If it was raining, I would probably just stay home. Which is why, if anyone is watching the forecast more carefully than race organizers, it's the vendors who say the crowd is key. The weather really makes a difference because, uh, like I said, when it rains, you don't get as many people to come out. And I know they race in the rain, but I was here once years ago where it was lightning and they actually <laughs> shut it down because they needed to get people out of the grandstands. They had everyone come back and to run the race on Monday, but there wasn't a lot of people. So for the vendors, you really lose out. As I've said before, come 1232, there's going to be a green flag and we're going racing. And we are going racing. Leave it to the promoters to find that silver lining that even if we do have some wild weather moving in in the morning, they say that they believe it should be clearing out in time for the green flag. But if the racetrack is wet, they said it could lead to some strategies, some equipment, some other sorts of things that many racers and their fans might not always see. And that would make for an exciting race, they say, as well. Reporting live in St. Pete, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. Thank you.